Okay, uh, today we're graphing linear equations. And linear equation is just just um, just a line on the coordinate plane. That's all that is. So, um, to the uh, there's two pretty common ways of representing these lines on a coordinate plane, and you got the uh, standard form right here is what they call that, and then over here you got the uh, y intercept or the slope intercept form and they both pretty much mean the same thing um, so for right now we're gonna stick to this one right here okay and the reason being is um, it, it's actually a, a pretty good way to graph um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take the uh, y intercept and we're gonna take the x intercept okay and we're just going to um, use those to graph the line. Okay, so uh, just for beginners, I'm going to draw a very crude graph here. Okay, and on this graph, I'm going to put two points. Okay, right there. Those are some two points. Doesn't matter what they are, um, but it takes two points to define a line. Okay, so if we have two of them, we're good. We can define a line. So um, that's what we're looking to do. And if you'll see right here, so this is the y-axis. So they call this right area right here the y-intercept. And then since this is the x-axis, they call that the x-intercept. So uh, some useful uh, pieces of information to know. Um, a couple other things you need to know is that not always will a graph have both a X and a Y intercept, okay? Um, you, could, you could run into a situation, and you probably will, where you have a line like this. Um, notice how it intersects the X axis, but it does not intercept the Y axis, okay? And likewise, you could also have... Um, a line like that, okay? It intercepts the y-axis, uh, does not intercept the x-axis. So, um, so that's pretty much uh, right there, uh, how, how a couple things go. So let's just uh, do some examples real quick here. Okay, and I'm gonna go, let's start with an easy one. We'll just start with x plus y equals four. Okay, um, this represents a line, okay? Um, another piece of information to know is uh, just think about a point, like the, an ordered pair, okay? You have X and Y. Well, this, this uh, particular line is going to have a coordinate pair, okay? And we're just gonna figure out what that is, okay? And the way you can figure out what that is is I can choose, since it's a line, um, I can choose any x value I want, and it's going to produce a y value. Okay, so I'm just going to pick all by myself. I'm not really going to, you know, we're basically just playing the guessing game really here. I'm going to pick a, a value for x, and it's going to give me a y value. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick zero because it's easy to work with, and that's going to give me zero plus y equals four. Well, this is doesn't mean anything to us now because that's zero. So we end up with just plain y equals four. Well, y is over here on the uh, ordered pair, so I can just go ahead and plug that one in right there. So I have one point. I need one more to define this line. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna pick another value right here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick zero and stick it in for y. Okay, so here's y. I'm gonna put zero in for y. I'm gonna get x plus zero equals four. Well, this will just mean that x is equal to four, okay? So I've, uh, I've, drawn, I've drawn some better graphs over here. So let's just uh, take a look at this thing right here. And it looks like our points were zero, four, and four, zero, right? So let's go over, let's graph the first one. X, remember, here's X and Y. So X is equal to zero, okay? And Y is equal to four, one, two, three, four, okay? 
Now, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, let me actually do a good job right here. I'm going to graph this like a nice student would. And there's our line. Notice how this line is aimed down. So, the slope is negative. Okay. And we'll get, we'll get into that. Uh, if you don't understand slope yet, that's just right around the corner. It comes right after this section right here. Okay, let's do another example right here. Let's go. Let's do 2x two x plus y equals 4. Okay? Same thing. I'm just going to find two points right here. And the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug a 0 in for y. Okay, and remember, remember y is over here. So if I plug y in, for zero, or plug 0 in for y, I get 2x being equal to 4. And we can just divide both sides right there. This guy cancels out. 4 divided by 2 is just 2, so then we get x equals 2. Okay. All right. Now let's do another uh, substitution right here. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put zero in for x this time. Okay. So that's gonna be two times zero plus y is equal to four. Okay. Well, that's just gonna be zero plus y equals four. Y equals four. Okay. So this one isn't too different from the one we just did. Now I'm just gonna copy this information over here. Go ahead and use this to make a graph. Okay. So let's see here. I have when x is equal to 2, 0. So I have x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0. So that's that point. And I have x being equal to 0, producing 4. Okay. So it looks like this is also going to be a negative slope as well. Okay, and there's that line right there. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Okay. Now let's go. go 2x equals 3y plus 6 and I hope I have enough time here okay so here's my xy I'm gonna go kind of fast because I'm almost out of time so I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick 0 for x 2 times 0 equals 3y plus 6 okay 0 equals 3y plus 6 subtract 6 from both sides and then I get Negative 6 equals 3y. Okay. Oops. Negative 6 equals 3y. Divide both sides by 3. This is equal to negative 2. See, I messed up. See what happens when you hurry up? Okay, let's also um, check this other one out. And let's see here. I'm going to pick a 0 for y. So we have 2x equals 0 plus 6. Okay, well, that's just going to be 2x equals 6. Put both sides by 2. And x is going to be equal to 3. We'll put up there. That one wasn't too good because I had to kind of hurry up in the end. We're, we'll, I'm going to make a second video on this, okay?